Buddha's teachings are relevant. It has been relevant for centuries and it's more relevant now than ever. And when I say relevant, we are, I'm not only talking about spiritually relevant, but Buddha's teachings, if you, you give a chance, um, it's relevant for all kinds of things, uh, managing life, parenting, um, bringing up children, uh, creating a vision for nation, a society. It has proved that uh, the Buddhist influence has bring harmony, peace, prosperity and uh, creativity. Uh, for this reason, um, the great the scholars and saints and kings and emperors and empresses of different parts of the world, and especially in China, they invested so much time and money and energy in translating the words of the Buddha um, into Chinese in the past. We are now going through a different era. Uh, so, translating the words of the Buddha, a different edition, a different translation, and a different usage of language now is utmost important. I was saying that it's relevant uh, also because now people talk about how materially the world has become much much better than before for instance we don't really have to be too afraid of somebody invading us that's how it used to be uh, just about a hundred years ago we are not too afraid of famine because of all the communication people are fairly taken care of with food uh, we are not too afraid of uh, plague Mm, like in the past, like in Europe, millions died because of uh, plague. But now the world has a different problem, the problem of identity. This is going to be a really big one. And I don't think there's any other system or a philosophy or a path or a science that really addresses the issue of identity as good and uh, com uh, as complete as Buddhism. So this is why it's really important that uh, Buddhist words are translated into uh, Chinese uh, so that the young and upcoming Chinese people have a wealth of referen uh, reference. Then, as a human being we have been dwelling on this earth for a long time now um, but um, as a member of different species that has been living on this earth, probably we human beings are the worst. Even the bees are doing much, much more in keeping the earth, you know, healthy and, I don't know, mm, sound and clean and uh, fresh but uh, we human beings are not doing good job uh, so yes while we human beings are trying to uh, contribute to the world by you know advancement of technology science business i don't know all kinds of ways i think it's really important individually all of us we should really take pride in uh, nurturing, preserving, translating and make the wisdom of the ancient masters such as the Buddha be, uh, make it available for all the future generations, especially the Buddhist, Buddhist teachings which has so much information on, you know, like um, uh, dependent uh, arising which is one of the most important message that uh, the modern people need to know um, 
love and compassion and uh, empathy and truth so sponsors uh, translators editors proofreaders should take pride in planting the seed of the wisdom in whatever way or what how um, however they can um, you are creating a legacy you are leaving behind a trace of you are you are leaving behind or you are helping to leave behind the footsteps or the traces of wisdom or the very important um, teachers such as Buddha um, our endeavor of translating the Buddha Buddha's words should never be uh, done with the attitude that we will we will do it and then whatever we do will be the sort of uh, finished work or accomplished um, you know like to the perfection I think we should have this attitude of you know uh, work in progress especially the world is changing that the usage of the language is changing the habitual pattern is changing so it's always need it always needs improvement uh, I'm sure even words phrases sentences will have a different meaning so we will we should always have this attitude of work in progress and uh, translating or trying to translate the words of the Buddha uh, therefore should be taken as a practice so you are not necessarily sort of importing somebody else saying that this is going to be perfect um, yes of course you know that argument of that a translator has to reach a certain level but um, in order to reach that level you need to also practice and um, If you have this attitude that this is an attempt I think that is quite a good quite quite a good motivation practice also another thing is uh, <clears throat> if those who are not uh, if those who are devoted to the Buddha Dharma if they are not translating some of these works then it is possible that those who are not necessarily following the Buddha just purely out of curiosity or you know, uh, historical study or uh, you know cultural study or philosophy study many of these followers could translate and some of these translated texts could then get used as a reference and uh, so if you look at that uh, kind of situation I would rather have <coughs> someone even though they may not be on a higher level of bodhisattva stage uh, at least have the right motivation of benefiting sentient beings and and um, sort of uh, as a gesture of attempt practice and then uh, translate the word of the Buddha I think that's I think that should be encouraged